Okay, we have a Brother HL L8260 CDW printer here. We'll be replacing a fuser rollers on this thing. Uh, first, I will say this is the second time uh, I am doing this on this same printer, and I figure I'm going to record a video this time. I am not endorsing this printer uh, as the, again, as I said, it's the second time I'm doing this. I think it's Brother's failure to have to release a product of such a poor quality that the fuser roller actually is ripped. Uh, second time again. All right, so the symptoms I will show are evident on this printout. Uh, as you can see, there is a... Uh, wrinkling on the paper after it comes out and it's true for all printouts so this is not just this particular printout and up close what we have here and then if we were to look at the fuser roller zooming in as you can see there's wrinkling on the heating uh, element or, or the, the fuser that has a heating element inside. And uh, on the previous one that I've replaced, it was actually completely ripped at this location. So now it's just simply wrinkled. And this translates onto printouts. So the tools we need today, we'll probably need, I, I have a little more than we actually need, but we'll need uh, something to pick up small pieces, some tweezers, perhaps, uh, and Phillips screwdriver. Uh, and again, I have just a little bit of extra, a little bit of tape, just in case. So I ordered a uh, Technica brand. Uh, I think it is a Techno brand, so it's a question mark. Anyway, it's a fuser roller kit specifically for this printer. And I will post the information uh, with the link to the Fuser Roller Kit uh, at the bottom of the video. So here it is. I'm going to unpack. So there's the Fuser Roller. And uh, we also have a pressure roller. That is this reddish roller down below the, the Fuser Roller, which was black up above comes with gloves you definitely want to use these gloves because the heating element that's inside the fuser roller is very sensitive and uh, you do not want to touch it uh, otherwise it will probably crack uh, if you leave your oil from your skin all right let's uh, open this thing up uh, and take things apart so as you notice I have uh, you will notice that I put my own gloves um, I decided that instead of using the ones that ship with the rollers roller kit, I decided to use my own gloves just because they fit a little tighter so I can have better feeling uh, for what I'm handling. But no, you could still use the gloves. So as you see, I unpacked uh, the fuser roller and the pressure roller here. I will use them later, but the first thing first, I gotta take this whole thing uh, open, take it apart. Uh, and let's see uh, if uh, what we can do here. All right, so first we open up the rear gate. And by the way, I will admit I do not know the names of all of the parts. So if I misname them, please forgive me. Uh, but just follow along. If uh, uh, if you're doing the same, uh, just just look. Hopefully, visually will make sense. All right. So to remove the back door we just simply lift on both sides these two brackets and this came off all right I don't think I don't think we need to take this down any further all right the next step is we've got to drop this entire back panel to expose the rollers. Uh, now we need to remove all these things. So I recommend placing things on the table. Have lots of space on your table. 
place them all around uh, so you remember what goes where. So, and I hope I didn't break it. No, it doesn't look like I just thought I cracked this thing. But you just simply bend it a little bit and pull it out. All right, so placing it down here. see the next step all right so now we're going to remove this screw right here and the way to remove this little panel right here. Oh, there's one more screw. Now there's a little tab right down here. Let me see if I can zoom in on this. That you just need to lift to release the spring so this entire little panel can come off and it comes right off like this here you go and that little tab that I was talking about right here that's that's what it looks like we can get a clear zoom okay And we are going to do the same thing on the other side. Let's see, and the similar tab is located on the left side here, which is right above this uh, other big screw, which we don't need to touch, but the tab is right here. Oh, one thing we need to do is lower the, the panel, I think. Oh, by the way, this comes off. So, since I removed other stuff, this thing just came off. It was loose. Alright, so, so grabbing it from the bottom here, so you can get a good grip, and then bringing this little notch tab, and it comes right off. So this is our left side. So I'm going to place these both on the left and right side of the printer as I'm taking it apart. If you're not sure what to do with the screws, you could, in theory, put them back into, if you don't want to lose them, into where they should be. Uh, but I'm just going to drop them here so we know where they go in both cases so it's close to the edge just hope it doesn't fall off all right so both of these placed here okay the next step is to remove these two screws on the right and left because that will release uh, more parts that are actually holding these rollers so let's just take them down
Now that we have these two screws off, we can remove this uh, block, which is uh, the entire roller kit. It comes off here. Just got to be careful because there are wires everywhere. You don't want to rip them. We'll be disconnecting them shortly. Just kind of rolling it out here. Okay. Now to now we need to disconnect the roller kit, the, uh, disconnect the wiring that is. So we have these two wires on this side, two connectors, and this one on the left side. So to get this out, you're gonna have to carefully wiggle this thing open. I already loosened it a little bit. Let's try to get the other one. Oh, there it came off. And so you can actually see what it looks like. So you don't break the, the connectors off the board, circuit board. And now we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Uh, let's see if I can get a better view. So what you will have to do to disconnect this is press on this side and then it will come off. Uh, but you will need two hands. So I'm just gonna set the camera down. And there it comes right off. Okay, now my roller the entire fuser roller kit is off so again as you can see very clearly how the this thing is wrinkled now i don't know whether this is a fault or an issue with the brother printer or the last uh, uh fuser roller kit that i purchased uh, because it is made by third party it's not a brother's part so but the fact that the first one all was all ripped after about a year and a half of service was really disappointing and it was the uh, brother's part. Now, so I'm going to replace with exact same brand actually or whatever it was that I purchased last time. Uh, so the chances are it might, the same thing might happen two years later, but uh, you can try a different brand uh, if you uh, don't have much faith in what I'm gonna post. Uh, on the at the bottom of this video with a link to what I bought if you want to buy another part by all means uh, Pick something else as long as it's compatible with this particular printer Okay, so uh, now we have the this entire kit and I put the paper towel underneath uh, Just in case anything falls off or whatever, you know uh, and, and also because it's a white paper towel It's easier to see the contrast if any parts come out because I have a dark color table Okay, so we need to, we're going to, the first thing we're going to do is we need to release the pressure roller. Uh, it's, it's being held by these springs here. So, uh, let's see. We need to take these springs right here and, and pull on them. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, and release. So here we go. So as you saw, and that's why I needed uh, these like sharp nose tweezers, or you might you might want to use I don't know something else like a strong sharp uh, something, but you don't want to bend it because it's, it's the, the spring is pretty uh, difficult to pull down on. So we're going to do the same on this side and. Let go. So here we are. And we now lowered the pressure roller here. And at this point, it should be removable. All right, so now in order to remove the pressure roller, so see, we need to actually unhook these brackets on both sides. Uh, off the the entire assembly here. Now you need to find this thing just simply lifts up 
But in order to do that, you need to find the sweet spot where it's released. So you can't release it here. So, but if I lift it up a little, there it is. It comes off very easily. You didn't have to pull in it too hard. We're going to do exactly the same thing on this side. Find that sweet spot. Here we go. And our pressure rollers off. Now it's just a matter of taking this off. You might actually, there's like a little bit of ink, uh, dry ink that's coming off of this. I'll clean it up. Uh, let's do the same here on this side. By the way, I need to make sure I point it the right way. See how it is? The, the thinner part's going out, outward. Okay, we have here. There's our old roller. It does look undamaged, no issues with it, but actually, no, I do see just a little bit. So, but since we have a new one, may as well just replace it. So this is garbage. All right, so the next step is we need to remove the fuser roller. Uh, and to do that, we're gonna have to unscrew a few things here. Now, this is the part where you have to be uh, very careful with because once this thing comes off inside is a heating element and this is the one that like i mentioned in the beginning of the video you don't want to touch you don't want to leave the oil from your fingers on that heating element um, it heats up to extreme temperatures and you do not want to break it either so we'll have to just be careful uh, taking this thing off okay so before i remove these screws on both sides, just again, a note. You see how I left the other parts in place, just so that I don't forget where to, uh, uh, wh where all things are, so I don't lose them when I try to reassemble everything. Let's take uh, the screw on the right. And we'll do the same on the left. Now, actually, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna wait before I take this one off because if you notice, uh, there's an uh, a, an electrical electrode connected, and it's probably from the heating element. So you got to be very careful there. I don't want to break it. All right. So now that we have the screw off this little cover panel, let me just simply remove it comes right off here it is so and that exposes another screw and as you notice this is again where the heating element is connected so we're going to have to remove both on the right side and on the left over there uh, both of these screws uh, and carefully extract the entire uh, fuser roller let's proceed I might want to actually get the wires out of the way a little bit here. And make sure this thing is firmly planted so it's not wiggling. You don't want screws and everything else flying around. Now be careful. Oh, I slipped. You don't want to slip your screwdriver. So you don't want to damage the, the heating lamp. Okay, so by the way, I am using a mag uh, magnetized or magnetic tip screwdriver here. Might be useful. Let's move to the other side. We'll do the same thing. Okay, just placing it down here. So the next thing we need to do carefully, so don't want to lose any screws. So you can on the left side you see how the uh, there is a wire that is connecting to the the heating element, our heating up a lamp. I don't know whatever it's called. So we, we're going to have to disconnect it from this side. For that, you just simply. I pulled it down since we already removed the screw and you just pull on this 
yeah, I, I definitely held it down. So probably should have done this before I uh, removed the screw because again, I don't want to bend anything. But since I did, I just pressed my thumb down, removed removing the, the wire. Okay, we can let it loose in the back. And let's see, what do we have here now? And now we should be able to remove the entire assembly, hopefully. Okay, I don't want to force anything, I want to be careful. It's possible I may still have something holding up. Yeah, there's something still holding up. Oh, here, yeah. So the elm is still being held here. We need to carefully we release this on the right side. Ah, I realized what's holding this down on the right hand side. There is a uh, there's an assembly here, and I need to take this screw on uh, right here uh, that's holding uh, holding this assembly up on this side. So, but when I turned this thing over, a spring fell out, uh, which is fine. That's expected. It was actually hooked on in the back here. Uh, as right here. So it will go in there. And this is this, the, the spring that was holding the entire, uh, assembly or uh, actually not the entire, sorry, the, the pressure roller. Here, that spring that I was speaking of, that's on the right side. One, there, there, these two springs, they're, they're somehow just got entangled. But one was supposed to be in this little groove. But now that they're, anyway, I need to separate them. And I do need to remember this other smaller spring that kind of holds the, the over these wires and holds them together, I think. I don't know what else it does, but it's connected to this little tab. So I'm also going to set it aside. And here are all my, there's the spring, the big spring, the small spring. I should get the wires. out of here because they're in the way so it looks like I'm gonna need to remove one more screw here so this cover needs to come off let's set the screw again somewhere where we don't forget Okay, now this cover just came off. Good. And I'll put it next to the screw that actually, in fact, what I could do is just feed the screw through. So remember where it comes from. All right, so again, carefully. All right, so actually what we need, we need to unplug another, on the other side, there's like another wire on this side. I think that's what actually holding us. So, oh, I did it off camera, sorry about that. So I just pulled on this yellow wire and I just loosened it. I believe this should release the fuse roll, yep. And the fuser roller is released. So I can still hold it. So I'm using, well, it's cold, obviously. And let me demonstrate what the heating element looks like. Okay, this thing just came off and make sure, I mean, it's really needed, so, so don't lose it. And I'm just simply taking this entire thing off. Again, try not to touch it. I'm going to set it down. OK. 
carefully. You want to break this thing. Uh, what you heard something falling is this thing right here that was on the fuser roller on this side. That's a, I don't know what it is, but it rolls smoothly. Okay. So, and <clears throat> let's uh, put the new one in. Actually, before we put a new one in, we need to remove uh, this assembly on the on the right, the, the gear. We need to remove this gear, and uh, I'll show you. So I'm going to take this thing off. Uh, the Place it there so there's another piece that comes off of it. Again, don't want to lose any of it. Uh, I'm just going to put it inside so it kind of goes back on like this. Now, what we see here is these tabs here are bent, holding the gear attached to the fuser roller. So I'm going to have to apply a little bit of pressure. So I'm taking a, a flat screwdriver. I just need a smaller flat screwdriver, but I don't want to break the gear because I don't have another one. So I need to bend one side in. So I'm pr trying to press against my finger here as opposed to the gear because it's plastic. And slowly align it. Let's see if this comes. Oh, that came right off. Perfect. So I'm going to set it down. Uh, let's see. So, so that way I'll be picking it up and placing it on. So I'm not reversing the sides. And one more piece here. Okay, so we've got three pieces that are going to go on the new fuser roller. Uh, one, two, three. Okay. So now this is garbage. This thing, because this is old. Empty inside. Nothing special. And now I'm going to take the new fuser roller. So now it's uh, probably the time I... Uh, well, I don't want to touch it, but that's... Uh, I think it should be okay with this one. Probably, I'm, I'm try. I'm gonna try not to. Let's unwrap this. So it's pretty easy to tell which side goes on the right, which is on the left, uh, and the way to do it is to remember how I was bending the tabs um, on that uh, gear. So this is definitely the right side. Let's turn it around. Okay, and this is just simply flat. I will place this back uh, later. I don't want it to fall off because the first thing first, first I want to replace all the pieces. One and two. Okay, spins easy, good. And the gear. Let's see, you probably need to find where these tabs that are gonna go. Okay. So it's back together. Now I'm going to take that flat screwdriver and just bend them out a little bit just to make sure it doesn't come off. I actually bend very, very easily. Just a little pressure. <clears throat> okay, now it's firmly placed in. This thing spins. 
All right, so now we can reassemble the left side and we've got it all ready to go. So now we just need to place everything back together. Now, one thing I noticed, uh, this little uh, insulating, uh, I think it's a thermal insulation or something like this. I don't know, some plasticky translucent thing. Um, it kind of fell out, so make sure that it goes in the groove. You know, just so that it's placed back correctly. You don't want to shove anything or force anything. Let's, oh, before we do, I forgot the, the lamp, the heating element. So again, carefully place this inside. All right, so now we need to drop the roller back the new roller back into the assembly and uh, uh, to do this uh, so uh, a couple of things you'll probably notice I taped off the little spring-loaded tabs uh, at the top which are uh, holding up or applying a little bit of pressure on the roller I think that's where the paper kind of comes and, and being pressed against it maybe I don't know whatever uh, another thing is make sure this thermal insulating a little plastic ta tab is uh, well positioned uh, inside. Uh, let's see. Uh, in its uh, grooves and uh, also aligns with where the screw is going to go. And now I'm going to drop the roller so it's important to position it correctly on the left side make sure the the tab is facing up the the thinner tab and on the right side as well uh, there's a little notch on the right side that's going to go into the plastic tab that's in there so make sure that that's right here so just make sure that you drop it correctly again carefully because I just don't want to okay here it turned over I'm gonna swap it let's now drop it well let's see what happens Yeah, let's see if I can get okay this looks aligned almost no nope, not yet it, this this probably needs to go underneath so I'm gonna have to lift it up a little bit some reason it's not going in there so something is in the way I'm sure and it's not an extra part it's definitely just something I'm not considering let me take this off and see if this thing needs to go it has to go right in here okay just need to feed this thing in okay here it is just gonna jam it with my press it with my fingers so to bend it
And what I'm doing right now is on the left side, I'm trying to make sure it all fits. And something's not dropping in there. Here it is. Okay, here it is. Now it dropped in here on this side. This side seems to be fine. Well fit. Back to the right. I don't understand why this tab does not did not fit. Oh, there it goes. There. Fit on both sides now. Okay. Now it's a good fit. Now before I do anything else, I need to put the screws back in. So and the screws that we're going that are going back in are oh, got the wrong screwdriver of course. So Again, remember, make sure you know which ones go in. It's the ones with like uh, this little flat washer that's already on the screw itself. Tighten it, but not too tight. Alright, so I'm on the other side. Okay, it is in place. Uh, testing. Roller spins just fine, nothing obstructing. I'm gonna release these springs. Uh, actually, I'm not showing you. I will release these springs that are taped in a bit just later. Uh, I don't think they're on my way right now. So it is time to reconnect actually our wiring. So here it is, just that white wire. Just make sure it fits over the tab and s just stick it in there. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. If you recall, there is this yellow wire, and it is the tab right in here. All right, it's in. Okay, testing rollers, all, everything's connected and it's smooth. We're good, good on this side. So now we're going to actually place these covers. Start with the right side. It just fits right in. And there's my screw. If only I wasn't dropping it. And tight, tighten, but not too tight. Everything's still smooth, spinning smoothly. Repack the cables. So now the the roller it still could be loose, but gotta be actually no. I think this is the time I should just remove these uh, tabs because they're gonna hold the roller in place, prevent it from falling out. All right, so here we are. And tape to 
the garbage. Okay, so I'm in the back. I'm repacking the wires. Uh, so, so this cover has to go back in. Okay, this is where it drops in. Yep. And these wires go on top. And I'm just gonna go through this route. But before we... Uh, so I want to make sure the wires are wrapped around here. Uh, so as this cover went back, went back on, uh, the wires wrap around this tab at the bottom. Everything snapped into place. And let's put the screw back in. So I don't want to repack these wires. I think this fits fine. I'm just going to use my flat head screwdriver just to, to see if there's anywhere to shove them under. But I don't want to be too rough with this because I do not want to break any of these wires. Because I will not be able to replace them. So now we're going to have to drop this big spring. It's not going to fit here, so we'll have to bring it come from the back. Sorry, I had to go off camera for this one. I dropped the, so I, I inserted this, this big spring from the bottom, from the other side. Now note, notice that I am still holding the roller with my fingers because it's not yet firmly fixed. Uh, something's still kind of not holding it in place, which is totally fine. Now I need to place the small spring, uh, which hooks on to the big spring and also connects to this thing right here. Here it is. And let's see if I... Uh, Okay, so I had to go off camera and uh, just pack the wires and connect the springs right. But the idea here is the big spring is in place. Now we have to be careful it's not uh, tight because it's only the pressure roller, roller uh, the red one, is, that's going to hold it in place once it's pulled on. So you have to just find the sweet spot so it holds it in. And then connect the small spring from this tab to that big spring and then as far as the wires are concerned uh, they just nicely uh, go underneath these tabs and then there are like some openings here then we'll just have to figure out how they go further just so that they're not in the way when we put things back together so here it is Okay, so now the time has come for a uh, pressure roller. So I turned the assembly over carefully because again, what I don't want is this spring to fall out again. Hopefully it won't, otherwise I'm, I'll be back to reconnecting the springs. Uh, the other big spring is still here separately, I'll, I'll uh, hook it in later. Uh, but let's just first reassemble the pressure roller and here I am taking the new pressure roller uh, I believe okay I'll just get to clean it a little bit I don't know what material it's made out of but it has a lot of static on the roller itself so therefore a lot of small pieces of paper or whatever have uh, stuck to it so 
All right, let's uh, reassemble. On this side. So it goes like this, remember, this hooks in. Let's align the uh, black tab or whatever the thing's called. Like I said, I don't know what these things are all called. And then we're going to find again the sweet spot just to drop these things in. And here it is, we're done. So then it's just gonna come back up and uh, the springs are going to hold here and there. Uh, both sides left and right so let's try to drop this spring in although uh, see if I I wonder if I can do one at a time I think I should be able to So let us try to get the spring out. All right, this was tough, but I got on, got it on. So I have to still hold it with my thumb because I the, the spring's kind of holding it, so it's a little uh I don't want this to come out. Now I need to drop the other spring in there, make sure that it grabs. And I believe it did. this side okay and I'm going to double check to make sure everything's connected all right so on this side spring did in fact grab on that side both springs are connected they're in the right place so again just gonna pull on these wires I don't want them loose Good. I think we're ready to put this thing, this entire assembly back into the printer. Here it is. See, I want to inspect, make sure no paper jams or pieces of paper stuck anywhere there. Nothing is dirty. I mean, there's a little bit of dust. <sighs> yeah, probably should have taken uh, pressured CO2 to blow this off but I think I'll be fine I think it looks fine it looks pretty clean so as I mentioned uh, since I'm using uh, I mentioned this there's some static on this roller uh, on the pressure roller I, I'm not sure there's probably that it's probably its intent but because I placed it on a paper towel of course little uh, pieces of uh, paper just got on it so I'm gonna just take the paper towel off uh, and then I need to, oh, I'm just going to use those gloves that came with this thing. I'm just going to use them to wipe this roller off of uh, whatever stuff that it got stuck to it. And you can just move it a little bit by pulling, uh, spinning the gear. We have little pieces here. Of course, having a 
pressure CO2 would be a lot better. So. Oh, it's going to be inserted just like this. Right, because I remember the pressure roller is at the bottom, uh, fuser is at the top, but I need to connect the wires. So let's do exactly that. Good thing that they are color coded. Uh, white goes into white, blue goes into blue. Let's make sure we insert them correctly though. Okay, so now blue and white cables are connected on this side. We now have to connect the left side. Snap into place like just like that. You can use these tabs, I guess, to hold this thing. Okay, I think it's in place. And now the time is to put the screws back in. So remember how I placed, notice that I placed the screws that I knew would go where they're supposed to go. I'm not going to tighten it just yet. Let's feed the other one in first. And now we're going to tighten the screws again. Don't go too tight. It's all plastic. You don't want to rip it. Okay, it looks like it's all connected. As I'm spinning the gears, everything spins. Uh, rollers are good. Nothing is grabbing or preventing from spinning. And now the time is to put the uh, these black covers again if you recall I, j I placed them all on both sides so I know which ones left or right now we can start with the left I'm just gonna take this roller assembly a little bit away we've got two screws uh, they are identical okay just double double checking yes they are so it doesn't matter how they go So maybe light is better. Let's find where this sits. Hopefully I'll remember. Oh, sure enough, wrong. So go, you have to place it underneath here because it goes a little bit under. And remember that tab that was catching, it's gonna snap in. Okay, now it's in place. It does not come out. So because again of this tab, that's what's holding it in place. Time to return the screws. Okay, tight but not too tight. All right, so slides, so just like that. Place it here and 
like slight shift to the left and it's in place and then we can just snap it back here does this cut comes off and now I can place the cover back on time to hook okay this again snap into place here okay remember how it just just easily just a little plastic tension snap done and closed we are done this is the moment of truth. I'm going to move the printer in place so I can hook it up to power. I'm sure I'm losing the light again. Uh, I hate the motion sensor. So uh, let's test it out and I'm going to move the printer in the camera. And now the moment of truth. All right, so we got the printout. Uh, the good, so I don't see the wrinkling where it used to be. It seems okay. We're in good shape. Thank you for watching, and I uh, hope to see you in or in other videos.